Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today with a profound sense of duty as I present draft resolution L25 uh, titled Protection of Civilians and Upholding Legal and Humanitarian Obligations on behalf of the Arab group. This resolution is brought forward under the 10th Emergency Special Session Agenda Item 5, addressing illegal Israeli actions in occupied East Jerusalem and the rest of the occupied Palestinian territory. It has garnered co-sponsorship from 47 member states of this esteemed General Assembly. Mr. President, uh, the situation in Gaza is dire, uh, characterized by immeasurable suffering where the fundamental human rights and the dignity of its people have been violated in blatant disregard of international law. The consequences of indiscriminate violence, the loss of countless innocent lives, and the extensive destruction of civil infrastructure are destined to leave a lasting mark on generations to come. Since the eruption of this cycle of violence and conflict on 7th October, over 7,000 Palestinians Innocent Palestinians have tragically lost their lives, including women, children, elderly, health workers, and UN staff. The urgent need for an immediate ceasefire to end this prolonged tragedy and create a path towards diplomatic solutions cannot be overstated. It is not merely our responsibility, but a profound moral obligation to champion the cause of peace. In light of these compelling circumstances, as we all are witnessing a ground invasion conducted by Israel as we speak, and the absence of a resolute action by the United Nations Security Council four times so far, our draft resolution pursues a simple yet vital goal, one that aligns with the very purpose for which the United Nations was established peace and compliance with international law. This resolution addresses the intensifying violence in Gaza Strip, the rest of the occupied Palestinian territory, including East Jerusalem. It calls for an immediate, enduring, and unwavering humanitarian truce, ultimately leading to a cessation of hostilities. It demands adherence to international law, especially concerning the safeguarding of civilians and humanitarian personnel UN staff and essential facilities. This resolution emphasizes the crucial necessity of unimpeded humanitarian access to life-saving essentials, such as food, water, medical supply, supplies, fuel, and electricity for the civilian population in Gaza. Moreover, it pleads for the immediate and unconditional release of captive and discourse the imperative of protection of civilians and humanitarian infrastructure and the disproportionate impact of armed conflict on vulnerable groups encompassing women, children, individuals with disabilities and the elderly. Furthermore, the resolution underscores that the only viable path forward is a two-state solution rooted in pertinent UN resolutions and international law. In a time of crisis and uncertainty, this path offers hope for a just and lasting peace. Finally, I would like to remind delegations that Israel is responsible for the atrocities that are being committed now and that will be committed in their ground invasion of Gaza. Do not support any effort to legitimize such atrocities as we are seeing now in a proposal that perpetrates to whitewash such unlawful and horrendous aggression against the Palestinian people in Gaza. In this context, I call for a vote on Canada's Amendment L26. Thank you, President. This has been the Nod News Network. Transmission complete.